name is Suchi Garg. I am the technical team lead in Akoya. Um, to give some background about me, educationally, I am a MBA in finance and marketing. But then I came into IT. I started doing development, PHP development. And I have been doing PHP for the past 13, 14 years now. I have never bought a book in PHP, <laughs> never learned PHP from any training institute. But and I have been in the Drupal space since Drupal 4.6. And uh, again, never brought a book, pushed into it. Uh, at this moment, I, if I look at Acquia certifications, for example, I am a grandmaster. And currently, I'm, I have a, I'm leading a team. Uh, I have been managing projects. I am a technical architect. So these are the roles that I have been playing. Um, one of the roles while well, uh, doing all this is because Acquia is a US company, US based company and it started 10 years back but we started in India about 3 years back and we have been growing like crazy. I joined Acquia about 1.5 years back and there were just 6 people in the company at that time. At this moment we are 25 plus and the plan is to increase this twofold within this um, year. So as you can imagine, hiring has been our number one priority. And while we are trying to hire, we have been facing a lot of challenges. And this is uh, one of the sums of what I have been experienced in the past one and a half year. Just to get an understanding of my audience, um, can you just tell me a bit about yourselves? Um, I am the CEO of a Drupal Development Shop in DC. Washington, All right, and how big is your 25. 25 people? Right, so somewhere around what Acquia India is essentially the size. Um, I work in a hospitality company in Nepal, and we do all kind of different stuff, and we do the technology. Well. All right, others who are owning a company who are in, involved in talent hiring, who all here are involved in hiring. Yeah, I think that's why you are here. <laughs> All right. So as, as we just said, why are we here? What are we discussing? My slides don't have anything, so I don't think you'll be able to write. Can I say something that I need to remember? <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. So before I start with um, the challenges we are facing, let me, tell me, let, you, let me tell you a bit about my experience. As I told you, I, was, uh, I am an MBA in finance and marketing, and I got a placement job, placement as in they came to the campus and they hired me. And I was, I was an executive assistant in a management services, in a cement management services company, which is like nowhere near IT, nowhere near IT. I was an executive assistant, I was supposed to be doing business management kind of stuff, et cetera, et cetera. But within one year, one and a half year of joining, I was sort of pushed into IT. My boss, the, uh, he was the uh, ED of the uh, executive director of the company at that time. He was the one who, uh, it just happened that our IT managers, there were two managers, they just quit. And it's, it's a 350 strong company. They, they, those two people just quit, we had our internal service and there was nobody to take care of them. The person, my boss who was handling all this, he was in the US. So, and I'm talking about 2000 or 1999 maybe. And he just pinged me on Yahoo I am because that's what was prevalent at that time. And he just pinged me, all right, you need to reboot the server. And I'm like, I don't know what needs to be done. I don't know how to do it. And he was like, okay, I'll be sending you commands. <laughs> you just copy paste, copy paste. And that's how I got into servers. Then he and me, both of us single handedly decided all right, let's make an internet for the company. That's when I got into PHP. I started PHP in PHP 3, where extension used to be .php3, and oops was just oops. Oops, I dropped this, and not object-oriented programming thing. So that's where I started. I still remember once, um, he, was, he was in the company. He was around, but I just removed, I just deleted the content of one whole department on the server. And the department was finance and accounting. <laughs> so you just imagine the, and 
he, and I, 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 I'm always in early riser. I reach the office early. He used to come a bit late. And I went, and, sorry, I just did this. All right, what did you do? Uh, so he sat me down because I was like all hyper. I don't know what to do. So he said, OK, what did you do? I did just this. Very coolly, calmly, let's do a backup restore. And that's how I learned. That's how I learned. Even though I was not an intern, and what we are talking about here is an internship program, essentially. But what I'm trying to say here is that if you have a mentor who invests his time in you, that is when your association uh, with that organization, with that mentor, with that boy, boss, actually grows really well. So we just talked about so many people here who are into, hi, who are into Drupal hiring, the new, the new people who have come in. Uh, can I just have? Some idea of what roles you are in. I am from Vipro. My name is Arshu Thirve. Okay. And I am a program manager, which we are having an executive initiative. Okay. All right. And you are involved in hiring, I'm sure. Yeah? I am also working as a project manager for to the new digital and um, basically setting up new Google practice and hiring folks. So let's switch a bit to the Indian, uh, Indians scenario um, but I am sure you guys also face the same challenges you guys you all of you are involved in hiring and you have been trying to hire for the past let's say one year or something what are the biggest challenges that you see in the community today anything technical knowledge I would say, and, and communication, skills as well. communication, communication skills yes but I think the biggest concern is technical. the technical, the standard that we want for technical expertise is not there. Yes. Also the attitude towards learning something. You, uh, I know this, I'll do this. Yes. I'll not do anything else. Anything yeah, they, else? They would like to be just on a focus area. They don't want to see the entire spectrum of the place. The narrow focus yeah. rather than getting, getting a broader focus? Yeah. yeah. See, initially we start with the master level Okay, but when the time goes on, so we have uh, I'm sorry, I didn't get it. Can you? Initially, we look out for a rock star developer, a Drupal developer. Oh, a rock star developer, yeah. all right. Do you really that. find them? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then, the moment the time goes on, the pressure builds on you. So you you have, have to hire. You have to settle for mediocre developer. Mediocre. That's why, like, there are only few rock stars exactly. in, in the community. That is the problem. And they, don't, they won't join you. <laughs> if you're a Wipro, no, I'm just saying that in the task of it is uh, everybody has their own concerns. People don't join Acquia as well, even though in the Drupal community, Acquia, we, I would consider Acquia to be at a higher preference level than others. But people have their own reasons why they don't want to join. For example, for us, one of the reasons we have lost a lot of people because. We are located in Delhi, and we are not very open to a remote culture. And so people don't want to relocate. relocate. They cannot relocate. They, we have their, they have their, and that's perfectly OK. So the biggest issue, as we said, is technical talent, and then the attitude stuff, et cetera. Attitude is something that's, that, yes, you can try to, you know. Talent is also something, technical talent is also something you can train them, but then you have to train them, right? And I think the, one of the biggest reasons behind all that is, um, uh, if I look at the educational institutes today, do you know or know of any educational institute, any college which has Drupal as its curriculum? I know one, Symbiosis in Pune, Pune. And that too because the teacher there, the professor who's owning that particular IT thing, he is a very pro Drupal person. So he has one semester one thing which is a Drupal course just a small course but at least he's giving the their students a push towards Drupal but other than that forget about Drupal we don't have PHP in the curriculum so people do have that all right I've learned .NET I've learned VB I'll go there because I have I've learned C++ I'll go there they don't have that kind of inclination to go towards an open source thing and I mean, if I look at some of the, let's, if I, if I don't include people who are passionate in trying to do something new, if they are not, they will just 
teach they'll just learn what is being taught in the class and that's it they're done I have some examples sitting right here who in the college in the school decided to just open the computer apart and do what not with it but there are others who don't even care they just want to pass the exams and that's it and when you have such a mentality getting Drupal talent out of the education is huge just out of the box is just not possible I think that is one of the biggest problems that we have right also if I look at the big training institutes that are available the biggest training institute that comes to my mind in terms of Indian context again is an IIT they don't have a Drupal curriculum they don't know about Drupal they have a PHP curriculum that is but that is offered in just some centers just some centers but if you go for .NET yes I've got this many curriculums this many courses if you have VB plus VB and whatnot you have loads of curriculums available but when it comes to open source things like PHP and Drupal no there's nothing and that is that in some ways does uh, no no again because we have issues like this the problem that we guys face as people who try to hire is a typical chicken and egg thing we not we need experienced people but where do experienced people come from we don't have experienced people so I mean as I said we need fresh we don't need freshers but freshers how do they they gain experience unless and until you know we teach them or somebody teaches them that is the problem the solution I would not say it's a one-stop solution but one of the possible solutions is probably internship and that is what we are here to talk about the possible solution is internship so that we hire people who have some spark and we try to train them in Drupal and then try to see whether they suit our needs and they also see whether this company suits our needs and you know try to you know merge them but when we talk of internships what makes an internship useful what makes an internship powerful before I go into that just a question in your career in your career in others career has there been one person who has been instrumental in your growth in in guiding you in, I'm sure each and every one of you has that one person who was who guided you into the right spot into the right direction right and once you have that kind of a person you try to stick to that person to the organization that person belongs so having one person who is guiding you not only technically technical guidance is important yes but overall mentoring is really really important that's what makes internship bang on that's what makes internship useful enough without that kind of uh, investment without that kind of a uh, uh, thing internships don't really uh, matter but what exactly I mean the question is if I look at from the interns point of view we have one ex intern here sitting we have a one current intern sitting here I'm sure you are also sitting here for from the students perspective and not the hiring perspective these are the the uh, what what does internship have uh, in in for you so career exploration um, so that you you don't have to go into that field but at least you're able to get into field experience it firsthand and then you figure out and then you decide whether this is right for me or not because at times from the outside some field looks very challenging very interesting but once you are into it then you realize okay this is not for me it doesn't uh, it doesn't excite me that is the biggest thing an internship can offer you gain industry knowledge accumulate evidence of your abilities critical professional contacts that's really really important confidence boost possibly land a, land a full time job if the company if the organization likes you as an intern yes they would want to give you a, a job but they might not want to give you a job as well it depends entirely on you and of course resume enhancements so in your resume if you like yes I've done internship with ABC it has a weightage right 
But um, if we if we talk loosely, we a lot of things are called internship. When if I ask any of you, what do you mean by internship? Can any anyone answer? What what is internship? You're trying to look for internship program. What do you feel is internship? The board model where we assisting the, um, the team which is already working on it. It gives us an insight of how the corporate world is actually working and the dynamics of the work environment. Okay. Anybody else? Yeah? To get real-time hands-on projects. Get real-time hands-on projects, yes, or maybe no. Because it's, as a project manager, I would not probably not put an intern on a full-time project. Could Just like that. As yes. a shadow, they as a shadow yes. As a shadow. That's important. Get to know the workflow exactly. Work. So you are part of the project, but maybe not really doing, but just overseeing things and seeing how things work. You want to say something? You're just smiling. Okay. Um, internship is a, is a period of, or a fresh year, where we get an exposure of how the industry works, where, where we get an exposure of where we lack. And we were, we were also we get an opportunity to improve ourselves and get corporate ready. Very long answer. Too much, too much in the answer. Typical of him. All right. Let me give you the official one of the official definitions of internship. And of any official or formal program to provide practical experience for beginners in an occupation or profession. I think that pretty much summarizes what internship is. It might not be exactly for all freshers. When a person is trying to switch uh, the, the field of their work, that is also one point where they might want to do internships. I was in IT, I don't want to do IT now, I don't want to do something else. I might want, want to opt. So it's not only for students, but it is for everybody who's new to the field. That is where an internship is really required. And internship can be paid or unpaid. It can be part-time, full-time, right? Interns may be college or university graduates, just the freshers that, as you mentioned, but it can be full-time grown-up adults, postgraduate adults who decide to switch. Then, you know, uh, it's a structured work experience, essentially. And it should, if you're talking about a student, it should enhance the student's field of study. It should enhance his term grade, or, or somehow it should be enhancing the, the, his field of study so that he gains something out of the internship. That's the whole point of getting an internship. But I think the biggest, the strongest point when I have to define internship is that it should be uh, uh, an experience where the intern is mentored by a professional. That is the biggest and most important thing. Unless and until there is mentorship by a professional. If we just hire an intern and let him lose as an orphan, it will not help. So a professional mentorship in an internship program is the most important thing. Whether it's a paid or an unpaid uh, scenario, whether it's a newbie, whether it's a postgraduate graduate adult who has 10 years of experience, it doesn't matter. It has to be a mentored program. Unless it is mentored, it, should, it will not have any any weightage at all. So internship, all the definitions, whatever we talked about, all holds true. But the key point is this, active mentorship. Unless until we have active mentorship, we are not able to do anything. So uh, one minute. Sorry, we just talked about how internship is useful the, for the interns. Now we can talk about how internship is useful for the organization. Um, these are, I mean, how many of you have actually had interns, have had interns in their company? And I, I'm sure whatever good, whatever result you wanted out of it is listed out here. What was the biggest thing that came to your mind when you were hiring an intern? Um, looking definitely at the future employees. Yeah, find future employees. That's probably the topmost thing. For you as well? Yeah. 
others? That as well as test drive the talent. Test drive the talent, yes. That's pretty much find future employees and test drive the talent is pretty much the same. We also like them for the culture. They tend to be young and fun and yes. a little bit of, you know. Yeah. Yeah, if, if you look at the team, which has like all of them are five year, five year old developers, the perspective that an intern brings is really unique. Why can't we do this like this and not this? And that's really important. Some people do talk about this as well. Even though I put this here, I'm, I'm sure I'm not a supporter, of the, a supporter of this. Because they think that, OK, internship is to take advantage of low cost labor. So I have an intern, go and bring coffee for me. No, I will not do that. They take time, though. It ends up being more expensive than it sounds. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but they're, um, uh, practically, they're more hardworking because they want to learn new things. Yes. So that's for sure. the uh, key point. I think that is totally point. agree. Totally agree. And I think the last point is very relevant as well. We don't really think of the last point, but it's really relevant. So for example, I have an intern who's been working for me for the past three months, six months, whatever. And he's from a great college, which has a great talent, but I've not been able to see the talent. But when he goes back there, you know, he says, okay, this company is really great to work with. This has a really, really great culture. And that is free advertising for you, literally. Word of mouth, where, if you're looking at, at an advertisement, advertisement, you will not feel like, OK, I, I want to buy this product. But the moment somebody says, OK, I have used this, I love it. Yes, you might want to try it out. So this last part is also very, very important. So these are the advantages, advantages that almost every one of us can think about. But there are so many intrinsic advantages that, that are not written here. Again, coming back to my example, um, I was not an intern, yes, but because of the fact that I was like so invested in, so I was I was given so much of mentorship by somebody. I was being I, I was an intern in the field of IT totally because I was not trained for IT. So I might be a full-time employee, but as of, if I look at it culturally and if I look at it technically, I was actually an intern because I was being groomed to become an IT manager or, or whatever, a PHP developer or whatever. I, I do remember when I said, uh, if you remember, I just said that we decided to build, bring, uh, to build an intranet for the company. Just two people actually built an intranet for the company in less than a month. And that was being run by and that was being used by 350 people right from the world go. Intranet, which did not have any CMS. Core PHP, core database calls, et cetera, et cetera, and we built an intranet. Because of the fact that I was so invested, I, it, it, it may, I made sure that I have a commitment, I have to do it. After that, we didn't stop there. Almost single-handedly, I made a project management system for them. And project management system for a cement company that has been in, in the business for, since 1967. So you can, and again, 350 people. Wherein they have projects, tasks, time slots, time sheet entries, everything. And that thing, I mean, I lo last talked to them about six, seven years back, and it was still running. Core PHP, nothing like that, and it was still running. A PostgreSQL, I didn't know MySQL at that time. So he decided, let's do PGSQL. I was like, OK, let's do PGSQL. I have to learn either of them. So I just did that. Even though now if I look at back at it, I'm like, what did I write? But the, the level of you know, commitment that an intern has, because of the fact that that person is so invested in you, that's really high. I, I worked for that organization for almost eight years, but and I would not have left that. I would have might I might have been still in that organization, but I had some personal issues. I got really sick. I couldn't travel to the office and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. That was the reason I left that. Otherwise, I would still have been there because of the fact that yes, people had that investment in me. So again, you know, the if you 
if you train an intern properly, if you invest in the intern properly, if you make sure that he, his growth path is good enough, that person becomes part of your DNA. His, his growth is from within rather than, you know, and, and that kind of a person will, in all the cases, every, each and every case, will perform better than a person who is getting a paycheck to get his job done. Because that person has that social connect with you. And that is the whole. So organizations have an intern program. Yes, all this is very good. But an internship program almost always, if it is successful, almost always guaranteed committed, committed employees. I have seen a lot of cases where we started with an intern and he was, he or she, would be in the organization for a very long time as compared to others, even if, even if the, the company or the industry is a high transition industry. Do you guys agree with me? I don't, I don't know. I don't want this to be a one-way thing. Any comments, any critiques? I started as an intern at my company 16 years ago, so I and you've been the, I'm the COO. So awesome. It can work. You can vouch for that, totally. <laughs> awesome. How much of a financial Yes. Because nowadays, instead of like having I, I'll tell you, I, I, I do, I don't need instant gratification or something. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting. I I agree to your thing, but again, it it depends on what motivates the person. If again, if I talk about my example, I was in that company for eight years, and within that year, eight years, I did go, get a lot of good offers, which were paying much more than what what I was being paid. But because I was comfortable in that company, and not only comfortable, I was valued in that company. I did not think of a switch. You know, I mean, there are people who are driven by money. I would not deny that. No, I mean, 10 years down the line, yes, I agree with that statement. But if you see younger generation, they're definitely not in that Not mindset. all. They want to make sure that... Uh, yes, there, as I said, there are people who are actually turned on by money, let's say. Let's put it this way. But not all. And down the line, they, people do realize that money is not, I, I would not stay in a company because it's offering me much more money. I would stay in the company because I like working there or I like the environment there. And those things are much more involved. Maybe that's just me. But I have worked, I have worked with the current generation, as, we, as you just put it, the current generation. I am part of the older generation, sadly. But yeah, um, I have worked with the current generation. We have people here who, I mean, they, they, they are smart enough to understand that, yes, money is important, but you have to think about other things as well. I, I do understand the point that you're trying to make here, that, yes, I train a person, I spend I, I'm half. I'm just that are, in, in turn, you're also taking a risk. Well, yes, that's yes. That that's, that's a risk that is present always. Yeah. You hire a person, you even buy their um, notice period out, and that person leaves in three months. Happens always, right? So that's a risk you have to be willing to to take. So how do you compare uh, you know, the internship versus a fresher recruit directly? A fresh. A fresher recruit, recruit with a fresher. What do you mean by fresher? I'm mean right from the college, not a <coughs> you know? Then again, even if it's a fresher recruit, you will have to train that person, <laughs> right? The internship in some ways is better in that case because you have an obligation with that person for a certain period of time and if that person doesn't suit you and if, and if that person feels that the company doesn't suit me, it's both ways. If they don't suit you, there's no, all right, there's okay, this is the end of six, it's a six months internship, this is the end of six months, I don't need to hire you. But if you have hired a recruit, a, a fresher, you have recruited a fresher, now you have you have a lot of other things. You have all the benefits that you have to give him. You have if if you have a notice period kind of a thing, you can't just fire him after six months, because then you have to give him the notice period thing as well. So it's some it's uh, you know the kind of investment in terms of training is similar in both the cases, but the the contractual obligation is lesser in terms of internship, because 
the person who is coming as an intern knows exactly that okay i am an intern for 6 months i have to learn in this for 6 months i have to perform well and only then i will be given a full time status only then i'll be hired but a fresher required he knows oh yes i'm hired now that's what happens in placements tcs maybe we pro i don't know <laughs> we pro does like all right go to a college hire 25 people yes let's go that's what happens but if we talk about smaller organizations like yours like ours in india we cannot do that because we don't have the training you know setups a tcs has a training a full huge training center in mysore in in chennai as well we don't have that and we can't afford that No, I would not say it's a love marriage. It's a courtship period. <laughs> marriage comes in later. <laughs> that okay? This is a courtship period. Now I don't like you. I don't want to marry exactly. you. But after actually, I have to have the pressure. You have to have a contract with them. Like you have to give notice period. All these things. Divorce lena padega. You'll have to divorce that person now. ियरशिप because again the person who's joined knows that i am on probation for 6 months and unless until i perform well i learn well i demonstrate my capabilities i will not be able to do that so that in in some terms is comparable to internship because again any days if you are hiring an intern you have to train them you have to put in that investment in any case whether you are hiring as an intern you whether you are hiring as a full term on probation or no probation etc so investment is the same maybe slightly less or no but probation yes if you have a probationary period you have that kind of a clear cut end point that yes this is the point till where you have to demonstrate maybe it's similar to internship in some way i think like there is more pressure to deliver within that six months no as an intern my one of my interns is sitting right here talk it talk to him about pressure no pressure like if i am if i am hiring a pressure and there is a probationary period then they need to deliver within the so even an intern who is on intern again it's sort of in a probationary period for that intern as well if he is an intern for 6 months he knows what what internship gives gives both the parties is a flexibility maybe the intern thinks that yes this thing is not for me then that is the best way to to test drive you know that yes this is maybe this is a, If you hire a fresher, you really the fresher doesn't really know. Let's think. Let's talk about the inter uh, in the Indian scenario. You have been to colleges and you were part of a college once. Placement day, first day, how many people apply? Everybody, irrespective of what is the company, what is the job description, what is the damn role. I don't care. I'm just applying because I want a job. Am I right? Nobody cares uh, on what the job description is. So as a company you hired a person on the first day of placement do you think that that person is the right fit for you and whether that person knows that this job is the right fit for me that is what what internship allows you to have now um, from a student's point of view i would like to add as an intern from a student's point of view sure. we just go and we like to have fun we learn we are fun. happy for knowledge actually honestly speaking yes the six months we have no guaranteed uh, you know a proper saying that you know you'll be hired after 6 months so those 6 months we literally live there and we learn try to learn as yeah, much as possible we are we are literally hungry for knowledge in our 6 months yeah so it's like a beneficial thing for both as like the organizers or the company and the student as well thank you helps to have a different perspective as well Any anything else? Any anything else you guys might have? Yeah. So in your definition, you mentioned that it's a formal structure, a formal program. Yeah. What are some of the kind of guidelines? Prerequisites for a. <coughs> I'll be coming to that. Okay. 
we have heard of a success story here i am a success story of sort of internship i have a success story sitting right there you know, this guy was hired in an intern fresh out of the college and now he's into engineering of aquia and he's a very bright guy but we do have horror stories as well does anybody have a horror story what is the worst thing that your boss or your mentor asked you to do worst possible thing <coughs> fetch my dry clean have you seen devil uh, the devil wears prada anybody has seen that movie yeah yeah <laughs> i'm i was sure that a woman would have seen that i was sure none of the guys would have seen that but a girl would have seen that so that's that's so far a story for sure so i have seen interns being told okay go and fetch coffee go and go do photo stats photo copies go and fetch my go and fetch my laundry we don't have that much laundry fetching in india but yeah i've seen that so before we go to what you were saying just uh, what internship is not it's not a go for position internship is not for fetch this and fetch that and do data entry it's not for that it's not a guaranteed job offer from both ends i mean if the if the organization likes the intern it's not necessary that he, that guy may join and vice versa it's not for free labor it's not for clerical or data entry jobs don't think it's a different matter we do give some data entry jobs to our interns <laughs> but then the project demands but it's essentially it's not a clerical job thing that we have hired somebody who is a low cost thing low cost person so let's go ahead and you know and this is a take away from what i had been saying earlier mentorship internship cannot be an unguided and unsupervised experience it cannot be that is one of the biggest things that we have to stick with it cannot be an unguided thing you can't hire an intern and then leave him off in the company he'll just be there i just read a quote somewhere which said internship is a debut performance and not a dress rehearsal so that is something that the interns here should understand that you have to be committed to it don't think of it as a rest dress rehearsal think of it more as a your debut performance do you understand the difference between the two do you understand the difference between the two all right so again from the interns point of view the purpose of internship like you right very rightly said it's not the purpose is not to make money the pur purpose is to learn as much as you can to assimilate the culture as much as you can and then go ahead and decide on what you do what you want to do in your you know in the rest of your life now yes we should have an internship i just hope that my this this talk of mine has influenced some of the people to have an internship programs but how to be an internship just you can just you can't just go ahead and hire somebody as an intern and be happy with it that's not an internship program there are a few prerequisites the first one gain business wide backing what i mean by this is take for ex example our company yes aquia india is an entity but we do have our bosses who are in us unless and until each one of the layers right from the ceo to the actual manager unless and until all of them agree that yes we want to hire an intern yes we want to go ahead with the internship program the internship program will not be successful the reasons behind that is top the topmost levels they have to look at the financial part of it right the lower levels the i would not say the lower levels the supervisor levels the mentor levels they have to be ready to invest that amount of time that amount of focus on that person unless until they are ready internship will not succeed the financial aspect of it is also is also on a different way i as a person as a, i as a supervisor i as a mentor have been assigned an, an intern and i have been told to uh, to mentor a person but i am on a project 100% can i do that i will not be able to i might try to do that if i'm if i'm 
um, worrying about the outcome of that internship, but I will not be able to do a good job out of it. So unless and until the top management agrees to an internship program and allows that kind of business hit, allows that kind of um, financial hit into the company, the internship can, program cannot be successful. The second point is again the same. I mean, investment in terms of money, even though there might not be, even if it's a free internship, they might, and there might not be direct compensation that you're paying to the intern, it is possible. But the investment in terms of money is still there because it's an opportunity cost. You are using a supervisor who is in turn, who's mentoring somebody, and if he's spending 50% of his time in mentorship, what does that mean? That essentially means that we are losing 50% of his billable time. So we have to invest. We have to plan the internship program. All right, tomorrow my intern is coming. What do I do with him? No, that will not help. And the reasons are very straightforward. I will just read out a few things here. So, a comprehensive internship structure should incl include information on learning objectives, daily responsibilities, short and long term projects, supervisor assignments, evaluation procedures, policies and expectations, orientation and off-boarding off -boarding processes. And these are the basic, thing, basic things that a plan should have. And the last part is put together a compensation plan. Please don't hire free interns. They might come to you, yes, but they'll not be as invested. Everybody likes money. All of us are sitting here for money, essentially. So plan a compensation program. Am I, do, do I answer your question now? Anything, any, any of you guys would like to pretty question? Everybody agrees? Wow. All right. OK. So again, I like red color when I want to invest. I think that's the end of my presentation as such. In conclusion, I would just like to say a few things which I've already said, but I would like to reiterate. Internship is a great way to sustain your talent pipeline. If you have an intern, you know that, okay, I can take up this project because I have this great intern and he, he is capable of becoming a full-time developer or a full-time manager or whatever in within two months. So I am able to take on this project because I know that I have this guy in the pipeline. When I'm, when I'm hiring somebody, he might come, he might not come. There have been cases when people have accepted the offer letter and the day of joining, they call up and say, oh, sorry, I'm not coming. That happens, right? So internship is a great way to sustain your, your talent pipeline, but internship is not free for all. For all. You have to invest in, in internship in terms of money, in terms of time, in terms of planning it out, in terms of almost everything. Think of internship as a full-time program, and think of internship as a way to make you know uh, your talent pipeline to grow your talent pipeline and frankly speaking you when you do something like this you will be doing good for your own organization for the educational institute in some way because you're absorbing people and for the academy as well in some way that's all i had for today thank you questions Any questions, anything else you would like to discuss? Sure. Uh, you said that it's an active mentorship is required for internship. Yes. <coughs> How do you prepare mentors like who would be best? I mean, they're going to project work and all that stuff. And still, they have to do some kind of... That is a question we have not been able to answer even in our career. We are trying, trying to build... And mentorship is something that comes... I mean, you might have a, a, a layer of people who are great technically, but not all of them are mentors. Not all of them have that, you know, that thing in them. So that is something as 
uh, as a manager or as a, I, I don't know what label you are on, but you have to uh, be able to figure out in a person that yes, this guy can act as a mentor, let's try to put somebody and see what happens. You have to take those kinds of risks. We have some awesome uh, technical people, but they are not people's person. They just want to sit in a corner and you can't do much about it. In our company, it's one of the skills people are recruiting on. Everyone. Are you also a good trainer for other people? So you can go through it and then see who are your best trainers and actively put them. Because they also like to train people uh, as a mentor. I, for example, I love to train. I love to sit with people and teach them something. But there are so many people who just don't like it. It's an intrinsic thing. You can't, you might be able to teach them a bit of that, but not really. It comes from within. So that is something you need to figure it out. You, there's no answer to this question, essentially. There is an answer. Sure. Just Sure. Yeah, I mean, you can try to do that. You, uh, for, uh, for example, in our company, we, we do have a buddy program. Anybody who joins, he has to have a buddy for the first month, so which walks him through the hoops in some way, in the sense that, okay, a person who joins uh, on the on the first day, if he sees his email, it's like full up of get an account here, get an account here, what so many things. So a buddy program, yes, it helps. But again, being a good teacher, a good mentor, is sort of an intrinsic quality which we we might try to hone. But it's very difficult to make somebody a teacher, make somebody a mentor. It's difficult. Yes. Totally. Totally. I agree with that. And and it's not only not always that the person who's new and who's being mentored learns. Almost every time the person who's mentoring also learns a lot. The new perspective, the new thinking, lots of things. A person who's fresh has so much to offer. Yes. Yes, I totally agree. After 19 years in the in the industry, yes, I totally agree that we are now jaded, literally. So we have to have that fresh uh, perspective. Anything else? Sure. At the beginning of the session, you mentioned that there's lack of quality Drupal developers, or the fresher Drupal developers. But there are competitions like Google Summer of Code, to name a one. And uh, India is one of the country where there are many Drupal developers and PHP developers, PHP projects every year, every consecutive year that leaves them. So where is that talent going? Who is coaching that? If you are saying, if, if you are from Macquarie and you are saying that there is a lack of talent. I am not able to find them, unfortunately. I don't know why, I don't know how, where they are going. But when I look through um, people who are applying, I look through people who are trying to join us or, or I sent out feelers to everybody, I am not finding because people. India is at number two. If you totally agree, people. totally agree. We have a lot of Drupal talent, but... Not limited to Drupal, talking in whole of PhD in projects. Generally, I, I don't deny that. But again, the level of expertise, you are talking about Google Summer of Code. How many people actually go through that? 1400 projects approximately. So, uh, 1200. Uh, I would like that. Sure. Uh, I have three parties. It doesn't matter for what, yeah. but you have, but, yeah. Uh, I have applied for an internship in Google Summer of Code, which is around about three to four months. I'm being mean, second on like three to four months, which is where I actually go in two months. We get paid a handsome amount, about five lakhs uh, per day. But what I am not able to find is that the but do you do you actually learn how how, how do you learn when you are in Google Summer of Code? How do you learn? You code and you learn. You don't have active membership, active mentorship. 
Do you agree? Yeah, uh, but in GSOC, the program, to be specific, at GSOC, uh, there is a mentor and you constantly are in touch with them. Yes, but I participated in GSOC in some other project where I coded machine learning CSS. I applied for, as for intern and other things. That's totally different from what I did. The Suji's perspective was, we don't know how to get that talent. We are not getting that. Talent. We are not getting. Because we are, are that talent. talent is somehow hidden. I don't know. Yeah. If I look at, even if I look at generally, uh, if I look at, let's say, Nokri.com, I see, I mean, search for Drupal and you'll see a huge list of resumes, yes. But one thing is, what is the level they are on? I, I, sure. So what, what, what I um, uh, face a lot with people, why people don't choose for Drupal is because they say the initial learning curve is too long, I'm not interested in it, and they stay. Um, yes, totally. And, and they don't realize that actually they can make much more money with Drupal. So I think the stats also that were shown this morning. Hmm. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm also I'm going to put it on my blog to make people understand. If you invest on Drupal, I mean you invest in yourself. Um, you were saying something, sir. Should be? Totally agree, yes. When I interview a person, I don't ask about the language syntax. I would ask for a pseudo program. If I'm actually. I'm, yes, normally, I, if I'm hiring specifically for Drupal, specifically. But if I go for an intern thing, I would like to, I would not really want that I would not really think that I want a PHP developer only or a Drupal developer only I would like to think I would like to see how his flow is is he is his fundamentals clear is his thought process clear because if a person can write a pseudo code he can pick up any language and go ahead with that yes It's not a nice language, ouch. <laughs> yeah. And for a junior to start with PHP, you don't need that. I agree. Sometimes PHP is called the younger sister of C in some ways, which is much more open and much more OK with the whatever. No, it borrows from two ways PHPs, including C. Including C, yes. Totally agree. Of course. I don't think that is uh I have invested in I don't think we need to invest in this Exactly. Like uh I'm sorry, the people person who throws in the responsibility to get to I totally agree and that's what in conclusion that's exactly what I said. What I said was that when we are investing in an internship program, we are actually doing something for the community. We are doing something for the academia. We are doing something for the students. Mom, like ask something. Sure. Here you just said that you are not getting a lot of people from Drupal. But um, as you again mentioned before, a lot of institutions are not even aware there is something called as Drupal. My institution, honestly speaking, yesterday was the first time I attended a Drupal lecture. I know, but you were in my training, so I know exactly. <laughs> If I'm learning something, I would go for cloud computing. It's the recent trending thing. Trending thing, all My right. My project is on cloud, actually. That is the reason I'm actually talking about it. So I would talk about something which I have an insured future. Sure. C and C++, they actually ensure a future. So. Um, all right. <laughs> they are the Drupal also in, uh, ensures the future. I'm sorry, guys, but we have to. We have. Uh, uh, we'll have to move this discussion outside. Thanks a lot. Thank you.